This is me preparing, unaware that I was about to film the craziest thing in my life. The helicopter never showed up, so I realized something was wrong, but I never thought it was as bad as that. He jumped a big cliff on the wrong place. Don't follow his tracks. Get away of his tracks, please. That morning, I had a bad feeling about the day to come. At this moment, our pilot, Roland, didn't expect it either. I got pretty scared. Uh, I thought he was, uh, I don't know, I wasn't sure if my one of my best friends were still alive, so. I was underneath the snow and I couldn't breathe. And for one second, I was just like panicked because uh, I was trying to get loose. Ate some snow just to get some breathing space. It was supposed to be a warm up run and uh, such an easy phase. This is Fred at my side supposedly showing me his line, but I already knew that he just wasn't with it. When I gave him the start signal, he didn't move. I had to signal him three times that the cameras were rolling. What was distracting him? At that moment, no one could do anything to help Fred from falling towards his destiny. Then I heard you guys started digging, and then Shuki was digging so hard, so he kind of knocked my face with his hands. That didn't matter, it was just like, uh, it was good to see Shuki and Thierry, uh, and they were so fast digging me up. Okay, uh, seems like uh, Fred uh, wanted to break the record of Jamie Pierre, and he did. It's nothing bad, everything is okay. But he jumped a big cliff on the wrong place. 107 meters drop and not even a scratch. I'm very happy he's still, uh, still here with us. I was charging, going very fast off the cliff. You can see the landing is way uh, beyond the cliff edge. And uh, yeah, I think that was one of the factors uh, involved to, to make it happen like it did. You scared us there, Fred, but we are happy that you're still alive. <laughs>